Hello, this is Nick with NicksComputerFix.com and here's two videos in one showing you how to connect an older laptop via a VGA cable to your TV set and a newer laptop um, connecting your laptop via a HDMI cable to your television set. So um, there's two ways of doing it depending whether or not you have an old laptop or a new laptop. So let's go ahead and get started with part one. Uh, with an older laptop using a VGA cable to connect it to the television set. All right, here we go. Hello, this is Nick with NicksComputerFix.com, and here's a video on how to connect your laptop to a TV using a VGA cable. Okay, you're going to need four pieces of hardware. The first one is a video cable, male-to-male -male type. The second item you're going to need is an audio cable and it also needs to be a male-to-male -male type. The third and fourth is your laptop computer and of course a widescreen TV. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the back of the TV set. We're looking for a VGA connector like this and we're also looking for an audio connector like this on the back of the TV. And once you locate those two connectors, you want to go ahead and grab your laptop VGA video cable and plug it into the VGA connector on the back of the TV and then grab your laptop audio cable and plug it into the audio connector on the back of the TV. Alright, on uh, the back of the laptop computer and, or it could be on the side depending on the type of laptop you have, look for your VGA video connector and once you locate it, you want to go ahead and grab the other end of the VGA cable uh, that you plugged into the back of the TV and plug it into the laptop computer's uh, VGA video cable connector. Okay, once you've done that, you want to go ahead and locate, in my case, mine's on the front of my laptop computer, locate your audio out jack. Um, it could be for your speakers, your earphones, or a TV. And it could be on the side or the back, depending on your laptop uh, computer. And once you locate it, go ahead and grab the audio cable that you plugged into the back of the TV. Um, the other end, you plug it into the audio uh, connector on your uh, laptop computer. Okay, now that you have all the hardware connected, most likely you will get no signal on your TV set yet because uh, we still need to do something um, on the Windows uh, desktop um, on our laptop computer. So what we want to do is go ahead and right click on our desktop and we want to go down to screen resolution and we want to click on detect and that's going to detect the um, TV uh, screen as a second monitor and we want to make sure that we are at highest resolution and uh, the orientation landscape and also multiple displays take a look at that all right and then click OK and at this point we need to do one additional thing we need to go over to our TV set and we know we need to go into our input and select our computer on our input on our TV set and once that's done we will get the uh, Windows display um, on our widescreen TV. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to part two of this video, how to connect your newer laptop to your high definition television set via an HDMI connection. Hello, this is Nick with NicksComputerFix.com and here's a video on how to connect a laptop to your TV using an HDMI cable. Okay, to accomplish this task, you're going to need four items. The first one is a HDMI cable that's at least six feet in length. The next item is going to be your remote control for your widescreen TV. And you will need your laptop and, of course, your widescreen TV as well. Okay, now that you've got all the items that you need for this project, go ahead and grab your laptop and locate the HDMI port on your laptop, most likely on the side. Go ahead and grab one end of the HDMI cable and we're going to insert that into the HDMI port on your laptop. And then go ahead and grab the other end of that HDMI cable and on the back of your widescreen TV locate the HDMI port that you want to plug that into 
and then plug that HDMI cable into it. Once that's done, more than likely you'll see no signal on your widescreen TV. You need to grab your remote control and push the input button and select the HDMI as your input. And once that's done, you'll see the same screen on your laptop or on your widescreen TV. In my case, I have the uh, Windows 8.1 start screen being displayed on my widescreen TV and my laptop at the same time. And also keep in mind that any keyboard activity and mouse movement will also be seen on your laptop and your widescreen television as well. Okay, um, that's it for this video. Subscribe and like my video.